Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Naja and I make a lot of fashion and lifestyle related content. And as y'all can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going on vacation. And so in this video, we're gonna get ready. I'm going on a girl's trip and we leave in two to three days. And I have not one thing done, hair, not done lashes brows not done toes not done nails not done clothes not packed outfits not picked like I don't even think I have a suitcase so I really have some stuff to do so in this video we're gonna be doing a prepare and pack with me so today's Wednesday and of course all of our appointments are lined up for the next two three days I leave on Saturday morning that'll be a separate vlog you guys know I'm gonna do my travel vlog and everything y'all are gonna see where we're at who I'm with because it is a girl's trip my first ever girl's trip without my family so it's gonna be like a friend girl's trip which is so so fun I'm literally so excited i haven't seen them in exactly like 550 days we calculated it the other day that's why i know that number i'm not just a weirdo keeping track but <laughs> i haven't seen them obviously since the pandemic started they're my two besties from stanford and so i'm very excited to do this so i will show y'all everything of course in that travel vlog but in today's video we're going to be getting ready i am going to do my hair myself i'm actually going to straighten it so i think i'll either do that tonight or tomorrow night of course i have to do it after work and then i also wanted to do my nails i have a nail appointment on Thursday and I also have my pedicure appointment today so we're gonna get everything ready those are all my appointments I was gonna get my lashes and eyebrows done but I'm on a budget so we're gonna have to clean these up and wear falsies ourselves because I do not want to go too far over my budget I'm already like going over it this is my first month really doing a budget and I am literally failing so bad but it's okay because I'm gonna get better so I'm gonna try to stick to my budget as best as possible over these next couple days I have a couple of products here that I've been ordering over the past couple days and we're going to unbox and then probably Friday night y'all know me last minute packing we'll pick out all the outfits and everything and get everything together because i literally have no idea i have maybe one outfit in mind but other than that just got rid of a bunch of clothes don't have a lot of options if y'all saw that video my closet clean out y'all know i got rid of most of my clothes i don't have slim pickings i was gonna say there's very slim pickings but i still have clothes that i can wear obviously but i did order a couple new things from like amazon pretty little thing and some bags so we're about to go ahead and unbox this stuff real quick um, cause I'm very excited to see what I got. So let's just do Amazon first cause that's like the easiest stuff to unbox. Alright, so this first thing, I got an SD card just for the trip. So we're gonna be vlogging, stay tuned. And I also got some graphic swim shorts because I needed a bathing suit but I wanted like something that I could also wear during the day so not like regular swimsuit bottoms and y'all know I'm obsessed with Hunter x Hunter so I got some Hunter x Hunter swimsuit bottom y'all probably like girl what is this but I also got a really cute black bathing suit like cut out bathing suit to go with it and I feel like that's a look and if I wear some black sandals or something like I feel like that's a cute little beach side pool side look if I'm trying to be somewhat modest but also you know ready for the pool by the way I have like so much money in Amazon gift cards so I was very thankful to have all those gift cards because I did not have to spend no money on this stuff for real i'll be getting these heels this white little corset top and my cutout bathing suit like it has the stomach um cut out like a little crop top so we're gonna be getting that tonight oops i just broke my nail ghetto the ghetto I got a professional grade tripod. This is not coming with me on the trip. This is just so big and bulky, but this is like an actual professional grade because mine is very broken. I wish I could show y'all how broken it is, but I feel like this will be a lot better. It's probably like $50, but like I said, I used my gift card to buy this. I can link this one down below. The one that I always suggest to y'all is a good tripod, but the way I be using it, I be breaking it. So I wanted to get a more professional one that could withstand all of my twisting and turning and doing too much. I can link everything down below that I got in this haul. Like I said, I got this little white corset i just wanted to do a little white look i also have this little shaper like waist shaper because i'm wearing a fitted dress one night and i want my waist to be snatched i'm not even going to cap to y'all this is a little waist shaper i've never tried one before but i think i want to wear it so it's like i'll link it down below if y'all want it i'm gonna show you how it turns out in the actual vlog because i feel like it'd be cute but i have to see like if it fits me and everything and lastly from amazon i just got this little cute blue tank it was actually really good quality like i was not expecting this it was very affordable y'all know how amazon be so that is most of the stuff that i got from amazon like i said tonight i'll be getting black heels I'll be getting black heels, a white bandle top, and probably my bathing suit tonight in the mail so I can show y'all that when it comes. But from PLT, I did order two things as well. This comes so quick, y'all. Like, I literally ordered this the other day. Okay, so I got these fitted white pants. They're like white split hem ribbed leggings. I don't think these are gonna fit me the way I want them to. I'll do a try on and let y'all know. And I also got this really, really cute 
size slit dress like black dress because one of the nights we did want to dress up and go out to dinner it's kind of see-through y'all can't tell but i can and it's kind of like this asymmetrical top and then it has the slit on this side this is not a good demonstration i'll try to insert a picture of the thing that i got and then what I'm really excited about, I got like three bags. This was not for the trip, but they just happened to come in time for the trip. So I'm very excited about that. So let me unbox this really quick. Telfeezy. A Telfeezy. So one of my Telfeezy's came in. I actually got this one from Depop a while back. Yay. She's just black and she's so cute. I think I ordered cream and green as well. So those will be coming in. I ordered these a while back, like I said, but I'm very excited about this. Period. Self easy. And then, last but not least, I got two bags from this brand called Yato. I don't know how to pronounce it. Carlton Yato. First of all, their brand is very fine. I will insert their Instagram. They make little, like, asymmetrical knot, knot bags. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so, I think it goes like this. Like, tell me that's not fine. Just a little shopper bag, like just to carry around a little mini. Sh oh, I just love it. So I got it in green and I got it in hand or cream, I guess. But I just love it so much. You can even wear it like this if you wanted to, kind of like an asymmetrical vibe. I'm surprised nobody has copied it yet because y'all know how these fast fashion brands be. But I'm very glad that they're still like super unique. Very, very nice quality. Like, yes, I am so excited about these. So that is everything that I got in the mail today. But like I said, some of my Amazon orders should be coming later. So I'll do another haul. So it is currently 3 o'clock and I think I'll go to the nail salon around 5. So I will see y'all then. It's my OOTD. Get my toes done. What is going on with my braid? Girl, it's poking. What the heck? Okay, so we are about to head out to the nail salon. And I'm going to get my toes done, period. First step. Y'all, TikTok got me obsessed with this song just listen to this real quick if y'all know the dance that goes to it 100 i'm at the nail salon i'm excited but i gotta hurry up hopefully it's not a long wait this one's always busy i come to the one by Amanda jackson called lv nails and spa they get my toes right every time actually the wait is not long if it is i'm going to another one Hey y'all, it's the next day. Got my toes done. I showed y'all yesterday. She did a really good job. I just got a fill in because I had already had acrylic on my toes. At least on my big toe. I don't get it on my little toes. And they didn't want to like tear it off. So they just filled it in, repainted it, all of that. And I think she did a great job. Very shapely, very cute. You know, I gotta get that square acrylic toe. And mine were super long beforehand and people were bullying me about it online. So I had to get it cut down. Not because people were bullying me about it, but because it was just way too long because it had grown out. I was surprised it lasted that long. And today we do have a nail appointment with our girl Vuwap, who I went to in my appointments video. It is currently 9.30. So I work, of course, at 10. I did a lot of my work last night though, so I don't know how busy my day will be and I'm getting off early to go to my appointments today. I forgot to tell y'all yesterday that I literally have all these packages to ship out from my thrift sale. I had a thrift sale. I sold over 400 items and I have to ship them out. I told everybody one to two weeks for processing time, but I want to at least get like half out this week before I leave and then I can do the other half next week after I come back because I come back next Wednesday. But I want to get as much done as I can before I leave. So today I think I'm going to be shipping and like reorganizing the office. And excuse my lisp right now because I have my retainers in. Here's my office currently. Not too bad, you know. I washed everything, so that's what this pile is. This stuff is washed. I just have to fold it and hang it back up um and then everything else is just here and cute and organized so i wanted to do my hair before i got my nails done because it would just be easier but i think i'm going to do my hair tonight or tomorrow night most likely tomorrow night after i got these packages out the way and right before i leave so that's what's going to be happening i'm just going to straighten it i don't know how it be because i'm going on vacation directly after that and i'm going to get braids for that so I don't want to have like, you know, musty braids by the time I go on my tropical vacation. Like, just look at me. Look at the crust, baby. 
By the way, these nails that I have on, super cute. These are from Talk BRB. I broke them a lot of times, but it was supposed to be like yin yang. Love them, and the packaging was also very cute. I wanted to give them a shout out, even though I've been wearing the nails for a while. They're from Talk BRB. Definitely support if you're looking for press on nails. They have more options. I just got the yin yang ones. Oh, how cute. Okay, so I got this package from this company called Future Is Color. It's very cute, and they gave me like some sage, I think. Oh, they gave me some Palo Santo. Just keep your energy right. The wood can help brighten energy and promote feelings of positivity. Enjoy. I paid for this, but they also sent free stuff, so that's always cool. And this is the shirt. I thought this was so cute. I could wear this in a little dress down streetwear outfit. Y'all know everything that's been happening in Atlanta lately. I got some safety stuff. I got some pepper spray. No, this is a keychain. No, this is a taser. And a safety keychain with pepper spray and stuff. Um, and I also got a screen protector because my phone has no case and no screen protector. And I would hate for my phone to get cracked on this trip or at any time. But I'm still waiting on an Amazon package that has my bathing suit, some black heels for one of the dress up nights, and I think a white shirt that I was gonna pair with this varsity jacket. So I do have a couple looks in mind, not a lot, but we're gonna make it work. All right, y'all, I'm about to head out to my nail appointment. We finna get these claws done because they literally look atrocious. I don't even want to show y'all, but I'm about to. This is why I don't like showing off my natural nails because they're damaged and ugly, but it's okay because we're gonna put these acrylics on and we're gonna be looking cute. So I'm gonna see y'all when I'm there. This is my outfit, by the way, with my Louis bag because I don't have anything with red in it and I wanted to kind of tie it together. But yeah, let's go. I got a couple of appointments, but I'm only gonna take y'all to the nail one because that's like the only related one. I'm here a bit early. She said I can come in and pick my colors and stuff. And I don't know what to choose. Should I do green or blue? I wish y'all could vote really quick. Y'all gonna tell me blue though, I feel like. I did green last time, so like, let me do something different. But am I even wearing blue? I have green shoes and blue shoes. I feel like green would go with more stuff. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna see what she say. I'm gonna pick blue. And if I change my mind, then I'm gonna go with green. I literally don't know. I'm so happy with my nails. I was really iffy about like the green cause y'all know I don't do bright greens like that but we were struggling to figure out a base but I'm honestly so happy with how they turned out. Like this is like the Bape logo as y'all can tell. It's like an ape right there. I just think these are so cute and I wanted green nails for sure. From afar it kind of looks like roses or something but it's definitely camo, green Bape. Very excited. I didn't think I was gonna like the light green but I love them and I like the like contrast of like the, the translucent and the dark colors so I'm excited. Shout out my girl Vuwop. She always get me right but i'm really hungry right now but i don't think i'm gonna go <laughs> get no food because i have chipotle at home so let me not buy nothing but i'm about to go home um i'm probably not gonna do anything related to this for the rest of the night except for ship out the clothes because i haven't started shipping anything nor have i done my hair or packed so bye I got a package from I love you so much. It looks some. Their packaging is so far. Like, what the heck? Had been following their brand for a while. They randomly sent me an email last week and were asking, like, oh, we love your style. Can we send you some shoes to try on? So y'all are gonna be like, I don't know, this might, uh, yeah, some of y'all might like it. If you know Margella, if you know Tabby, if you know, like the split toe, that's the kind of vibe that we're on here. Mixed with a Balenciaga sock boot. Sounds crazy, but I really love their brand. I'm very excited. So they sent me some socks, this is so fun. Oh my God, they sent me tabby socks, so it has like the little toe, in case y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Some people hate the style, some people love it. It's just kind of like a, it's your style or not. And then they sent me a fashion choker. 
that says I love you so much. A mask and a business card. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you, thank you. We love you so much. Show us some love at I love you so much. Jpg. Jpeg. They sent me the tan pair, so I think I told them white, black, or tan. Y'all know me with my neutral colors. And look at these shoes. They look like Blitzialaga sock boots. And then in the front, you can see the little tabby. So this is what we got. I'm very. This is really great quality also. Like, look at the bottom. Just the attention to detail is super cool. So we got these. I'm excited to put them on and see what they're all about. Oh my god. That is so fine. Little tote bag. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah for me. I love them. Oh my god, now I kind of want the white pair. really not giving tonight like I'm struggling so bad I tried to use this label printer I've got one order packaged and no labels no tape no thank you notes like I'm just gonna have to ship all this stuff when I get back so if you ordered anything it will be shipped out next week when I get back from my trip good morning today's Friday I'm leaving tomorrow I'm leaving tomorrow I'm leaving tomorrow hair still not done not packed no outfits picked but I did pack up at least 40 orders between last night and this morning so that's pretty good I think I'm gonna get about 80 done in total so I need to do like 40 more today and tonight but I did get my Amazon package with my shoes and my crop top so let me unbox for y'all real quick <gasps> no oh my god why is this from Shein child I did not even notice <laughs> Y'all, I didn't mean to. I don't order from Shein anymore. I didn't even realize. And why does it look huge? Okay, so this is the little bandeau top that I got. I swear I didn't know it was Shein. I was just ordering it off of Amazon. It's a little white off the shoulder top. And then I have my bathing suit here. Like I told you, I just got a one piece that has like a cutout. It's basically like a two piece, but it has a cutout. I don't know how it'll look. I do have like a black swim shirt that's a little more modest. I'll bring both and then try them on and figure it out that. I did get some Steve Madden heels. I can't even walk in heels, so I don't know why I bought them. I feel like they'll look really cute with the dress that I picked out. And then a little bag and my hair done. It's going to be a dress-up look. So that is everything that I got from Amazon last night. So pretty much everything that I ordered is here. Plus some things that I didn't know were even coming. This is what we all wanted. Better for the moment. Can only break it on this. I want what's on my plate. And I also want yours. So... My eyebrow shape is so like weird and not the same, but I just clean them up. It'll look better when I fill them in, of course, but it'll look a little less crazy right now. Let me do my mustache too. Hold on. Okay, we're all done. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and clean up, get my clothing rack and start putting up the items that I know I definitely wanna take, which is not a lot because I have no clue really what I wanna wear. So let's go ahead and do that. So one set outfit is gonna be this white dress with my green Yeezy slides. I just like the way that combination looks. And we're planning to do like all white fits with different accent colors. So that's gonna be my little white and green fit. Then I'm trying to figure out what bag to use. I have this green bag, but it doesn't really go with that. And then I have this other clear like translucent bag. Translucent bag that I can wear with it. So I'm gonna see which one, cause I like the outfit. I haven't worn it out yet to like take pictures in, but I've done it in a lookbook before. Um, so I'm trying to see what to do with that. Then the other set outfit that I have is this little black pleated set i know it's gonna be hot but baby i don't even care I'm, this is a little museum fit or something by the way this dress is from pretty little thing and this pleated set is from 96 dragon studios they sent this to me they sent me a few things they're one of like my favorite brands right now y'all i just love all their stuff 
especially the pleated set. So that's another outfit. I don't know what shoes I want to wear with that. That's the only problem. So I'm going to figure that out. But I think I want to wear myself amazing with it. I feel like a little all black fit would be cute. I don't know. But also... I have this black dress here that I showed y'all that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I haven't tried it on. It's with the Steve Madden heels that I got from Amazon, which I was, which I showed y'all earlier as well. It's my little dress up outfit for one of the nights. So that's pretty much all the set outfits that I have. But I also wanted to pair this little bandeau top with this track, not track, varsity jacket. Because I feel like that'd be cute and just wear it with some jeans. And either my Yeezy 500s or some other like neutral colored shoe. I'm going to see. I'm going to play around with it because I also don't know if I want light, dark, or black bottoms. I feel like either dark or black would be best. But we have to play around with that. Got this for a bright look because I have a lot of dark colors right here right now. So we got a little blue for a dark look. I have no clue what pants or anything to wear with it. So we're definitely going to have to see. Got the shirt that I showed y'all, a little graphic tee moment. Gotta figure out the bottoms for that as well. I seriously don't know what I would wear on the bottom. Maybe green bottom. Then, have all my swim stuff right here. So like I said, I have this one-piece bathing suit. This little black swim shirt, which I think is like cute and sleek. And then I have my Hunter x Hunter beach shorts. So that's a little modest. Sorry about that. I had to take this hoodie off because it is so hot. That's everything that I have planned, y'all. I have no clue. How many outfits do I need? Okay, I'm going. I'm landing Saturday morning, hopefully, inshallah. Saturday morning, I'll have on a plane fit. That's going to be comfy. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I think I'm going to need at least two outfits per day. Like a casual fit during the day. And then like a dressier fit at night when we go out to dinner because we do have a bunch of dinners planned. So I need eight good outfits and two comfy outfits. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that really an outfit? I feel like I would just wear that out to the beach or something. So I am making good progress. We don't have that much stuff. We just had to put them actually together. Let me try on these white pants that I got from Pretty Little Thing because that might help me out a little bit. Because I wanted to do the all white look with pants, but these are not what I thought they were going to be. Like I thought it'd be fitted and nice quality and thick, but... This ain't that, so hold on. They've been making their stuff too freaking tall. Like, girl, I'm sure the thing's coming down like all the way. Anyway, yeah, it's a note for me. I mean, they're cute. Mm, I could make it work. What shoes? Maybe this paired with this is cute. Unless I want to do my all white look still. This could be a dress up look if I pair it with white heels. Hold on. Not this one. I don't know where this. If I do my all white look, then I would do the white corset. Let me try that on as well. So I don't think I like these together because they're like two different textures. So I feel like these pants would look better with a casual fit. I mean, it's cute together, but it's like up close, it's not cute if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> it's an eh for me. <laughs> it's cute, but it's like, eh. It's like, eh. I can't believe I even thought that just now. Why? That's so embarrassing. Oh my God. It's too matchy, matchy, babe. We don't want to do that. This kind of is cute. It's not too matchy. Oh, what about this off the shoulder? Okay, that could be a vibe. I'm trying to make these white pants work so bad, but it's leaning towards a no. Okay, it's a no for me. I think the pants, I'll bring the pants in the corset. That's the only fit I really like like that. But that's a backup outfit, okay? We're not planning for that outfit. <laughs> Alrighty, got that. So we would have to go white shoes if this was the case. Uh, we could do this because it's not as matchy. I feel like that could be cute. Let's just do that. I'm not thinking too hard about it. Let's just do that. It'll be fine if it's a little bit matchy. It's okay, no, no. So we'll do this one. Trying to put everything on one hanger. Okay, we got three outfits. Oh, I don't have shoes for the pleated set. Let me figure that out too while we're at it. Let's just do mochas, I think. I don't want to wear pandas. Mochas with the black pleated set. I feel like these are good to walk in. So that'll be cute. And then also I already have this outfit. That's my black with my Steve Madden sandals. By the way, I said I needed high top shoes because the pants for the pleated set are kind of short. Like they're not like in the water, but they're not as long as I would like them to be. So wearing a high top shoe will kind of offset that instead of wearing a low top shoe. And then there's like a gap, which is so ugly in my opinion. So that's why I said I need a high top shoe. Hopefully that made sense, but that's just how my mind works. That's a little style tip for y'all. If y'all are into that, some people like like, you know, cuff jeans, gaps in between shoes and jeans. Mm -mm. It's a no for me, but it looks good on some people. I just don't like it on myself. So we've got one, two, three, four outfits. This is a backup. So technically we've got five. And this is like swimming. 
Let's figure out what shoes would I wear to the beach with this. Green Yeezy slides, tan Yeezy slides, brown Yeezy slides, or I have black sandals. Black is the safest option, but I feel like I'm not gonna like the contrast. Ooh, I got pink as well. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, that is so much. Let's just do black and keep it simple. This is technically a, an outfit in itself, but I feel like I'll need something else for beach day. What's a good beach outfit? Let me look for some inspo real quick. I realized I really want to take a pair of green shoes to have like a green look because that's my color, that's my fave. And I don't want to do the pape, even though y'all probably like, girl, what the hell? These are very uncomfortable to walk in. That's the only reason I don't really want to take these. Definitely want to take these. They're a little bit creased, but I don't really care about that. I'm trying to figure out what bottoms to wear. I think I want to do like a camo look with some green pants and i think just like a white top i feel like these are cute but i also need to figure out the exact pair that i want because y'all know i have so many camo pants i think these are better because really, this is like toned down and then we will pair it with this little white halter that i got from this is from motel rocks do this with this with those shoes with what bag oh if i had my green tail busy baby that would go so down it's not even Play with me. I feel like that's fine. It's matchy, but it's fine. I feel like this is cute together. I can either do pandas or I can do these. I feel like I'm gonna look like every TikTok girl in LA. It's okay. <laughs> you know how people be like, that's TikTok drip. Like, shut up. I mean, it is because TikTok made it popular, but people been wearing this stuff. So that's another fit. That could actually work. Okay, we need like two more outfits. I have this top. This is from 96 Dragon Studios, by the way. Little attached like chain on it, which I thought was so cute. And I just love the mesh fabric. I don't actually know who this is. Let's pair it with this skirt. Well, I have this like black slit skirt. I feel like could be cute with it. Little dark vibe. And then we'll put it with what shoes? Obviously heels or sandals for a dress up look. I'm gonna pair it with my little kitten heels. Those are the only heels I can walk in. If y'all haven't noticed, that's why I've been wearing them. Uh, that's why I've been packing them. And then we'll pair it with the Telfar bag and that can be a dress up look as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's enough. I'll bring sweats just for plain fits, you know? Let's do pleated set. Okay, we're gonna do pleated set, even though I kind of wanted to wear that to the museum. Okay, pleated set to the airport. If I have to rewear a fit, it's fine. Hopefully I'll change. Okay, here's the fits. Doesn't look like anything right now, but here's all the shoes that I have to fit somehow. I don't know how, but we're gonna make it work, definitely. So this is everything. Of course, I'll pack like underwear, shorts, and everything later on when I'm actually packing my suitcase. But right now it is 7.22, so I need to go ahead and get started on my hair. So I'm about to go wash it and then we'll blow dry and we'll start to straighten it. Hopefully it'll take me no more than an hour and a half to do. Alright y'all, my hair is done. I definitely kind of half-assed it. Like it's still really frizzy. Um, and I need to cut the ends a little bit so they're not so obvious like split ends, but it definitely grew. It's almost down to my butt. Not really, it's kind of like my lower back, if y'all can see. But it's time for us to pack up this suitcase and then for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna be shipping items and we're leaving tomorrow morning. Literally flies at seven o'clock in the morning. So I gotta get up real early, probably only get like three, four hours of sleep, but I'm gonna definitely sleep on the plane. Don't get it twisted, I got my book, the KO on that plane. So <laughs> about to pack it in this little suitcase. I don't know if all that's gonna fit in here. We're about to make something work i don't know what like one side is gonna be just shoes i got too much stuff i'm looking at it now that ain't gonna fit in that suitcase but we're gonna make it work <laughs> Hey. 
finished packing everything up. I left a, my airport outfit on the rack. I'm gonna wear that jacket tomorrow. And then I'm not taking the white outfit because I don't like it that much to take it. <sighs> I can't do no shopping, otherwise I'm gonna have to ship stuff to my house because literally I have no room in my freaking suitcase. So this is literally just a sale. But I'm gonna try and make everything fit right now. I'm putting a lot of stuff in my book bag. I don't have that much left to pack. Literally just my book and my laptop and everything and my charger. So I really shouldn't be that bad, but I might have to move some things around. I might have to get rid of a pair of shoes is what I might need to do. But I'm gonna try to fit everything into this carry-on. So we shall see. But that was pretty much the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for this travel vlog because i am leaving tomorrow 7 a.m bright and early and i will vlog literally everything staying there for about five days so i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow which is in the next video so it's probably like two three days for y'all but stay tuned make sure to like comment and subscribe every tuesday and thursday at 4 p.m check back in with me and i appreciate y'all so i'll see y'all the next time i upload hey i don't cop things for resale don't do icloud don't do email feds want to top up man and wild man like chucks with detail back when ricky was doing up teasdale i was doing dinner with tz i didn't trust no one swore got lying because got too greasy miko never moved nikki sweatsuit nike sweatsuit dg it might get